Ooh. Ah. Hi everyone. <laughs> the internet's busiest music nerd here, Anthony Fantano, and it's time for a review of the new Godspeed You Black Emperor album, Luciferian Towers. This is the brand new record from Montreal post-rock outfit, Godspeed You Black Emperor, who in the 90s and 2000s were one of the most cutting edge bands in the monolithic and incredibly epic genre of post-rock. Not just monolithic and epic, but also beautiful and majestic. They released a handful of fantastic records during their time as a band, bam, 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 but the band kind of decided to call it quits after their 2002 record, Yankee UXO, after which uh, a lot of the band's members sort of fractured off into different musical projects. Kind of disappointing to go through one of the worst presidencies in American history without sort of Godspeed's incredibly political and powerful and apocalyptic composition style. But the band did make a somewhat grand return about 10 years later with their 2012 album, Don't Bend Ascend, which was essentially a very fresh performance and recording laid on to something the band had written a while back. It sort of brought back the, the original thunder and excitement of their sound, but with kind of a modernized, more punchy aesthetic. And while I do love that album, I think it's a great addition to their discography, ultimately I was excited to see what the band would deliver once they started writing fresher material. I was also kind of excited to hear what exactly the messaging of the band's music would be, given that Obama, at the point of release of the following album, Asunder, wasn't really delivering on his promises of hope and change, outside of you know, I, I hope we'll, we'll actually get some change. However, I just found this album to be a mild attempt at recycling what made Godspeed such a good group in the first place. Sure, the band presented a sea of large, dramatic instrumentation on this thing, but not much else. And, in my opinion, Luciferian Towers is just as underwhelming, if not more. This thing features four movements that pan out to 45 minutes, and while the band does bring that somewhat punky, symphonic rock fusion that you typically experience expect from a Godspeed You Black Emperor album, this record is kind of more style than substance. Like, the instrumental meat of this record is so underwhelming. Like the intro, Undoing Luciferian Towers. The track is kind of this drony introductory piece that's like this blobby, formless, flabby bunch of instrumental layers. Bass, horn, strings, electronics. It's dense, but it doesn't really resolve into anything all that exciting for the seven minutes that it lasts. Also, as the band is droning and experimenting, the sense of adventure and wonder and just cutting edge interesting sounds that would typically be embedded in a Godspeed drone are just nowhere to be found. At one point, the limping bass and cycling noise kind of give way to some cool horn sections, and then the band delivers some very slow, sweeping string melodies that feel almost like a leftover from their last record. And with the first track over, and with there only being three other major cuts to speak of, the band is yet to capture that, I don't know, sense of prophetic dread that has made their past work so amazing. It seems like slow riffs enhanced by strings are pretty much the only idea the band has to offer when they get heavy and they get intense. Which is okay, but it sort of takes the sense of nuance and tension and building and experimentation that I've come to expect up until this point as a Godspeed fan. The song Boss's Hang is cut up into three sections, but each part of this track feels like its own miniature rushed post-rock song. The build-up to the finish of these tracks is not really all that interesting, and each finish of each section of the song comes to the same slow <laughs> riff. It's kind of mind-boggling. It's like I'm listening to the same idea reiterated from three different angles on the same album. It's like a musical choose-your-own-adventure, but you end up at the same ending no matter what. And if this track wasn't indicative of the band kind of being out of ideas, there is the fam slash famine drone, which brings lots of instrumental density, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything really is happening, especially when the track glides into the same folky, but also kind of gospel string melodies that seem to inform nearly every track here. The best song on this entire project is easily Anthem for No State, but the song is hardly a saving grace for the record, and I wouldn't even say it would even 
I don't know, begin to go toe to toe with any of the great work the band has put out in the past. The chilling intro on this thing actually kind of got me biting my nails a little bit. The lonely guitar leads, the dreary strings, the ghostly tones filling the atmosphere created by the instrumentation. The second section of the track is a bit of a snooze fest. It's kind of a very low key twangy guitar waltz. Kind of reminds me of like an earth song off of Bees Made Honey in the Lion's Skull, but with less interesting chord phrasing. And then the bright horns and thunderous bass and guitar layers that end the song out in the last section are one of the most exciting moments on the entire record. Really epic lead melodies, interesting instrumental layers and progressions. Some of the wailing instrumentation on this track has this wavy, disorienting quality to it that I like a lot. However, this moment is just a slightly passionate thrill on a generally passionless and thrillless album. I'm not really sure what to say about this album. It's just kind of one uninteresting track after the next. It sort of pulls through in the end, but not enough to actually make the record worth it or gratifying. This is just really kind of the first Godspeed project I feel like we we just did not need. And I sort of wonder uh, what the band is even going to do after this point, because this is just underwhelming. The the peak of underwhelming. I'm feeling a light five on this thing. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't die. Just stay hydrated and eat your fruits and veggies, okay? Over here next to my head is another Godspeed You Black Emperor album review. Check that out. Or you can click on the link to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. For... Ever.